Hi everyone, it's me Jackie from So Me Crafts, and I'm going to share this mini album I've been working on. It's um, a Thanksgiving mini album. I used a 6x6 six six, um, postbound album for it, but I think I'm going to try to find a 6x6 six six, um, binder, 3 ring binder album because it's kind of thick and expanding pretty big already. So I will have to probably be on the lookout for one of those. Um, the paper collection that I use is this Give Thanks by American Crafts. And all I have left are like some of these cut apart pieces, some strips, and then some more of these um, strips that I ran through my sticker maker. And some like photo corners that I cut and um, these three pages here and that's when I cut this piece out so let me show you my mini album and the album that the postbound album that I used for it is kind of small um, it's old very old it's just this tone on tone green and I thought that it was a nice color and pattern for Thanksgiving mini album. So let's get started. The inside is polka dot here, really cute. And so I've already added the photos and some embellishments. I don't think I'm completely done, but I don't want to add it anymore until I get a three ring binder for this. So. I've already added some stickers in the photos and embellished some on them. So that's the first page here. I have not done my journaling or put in my dates on yet, but this is my second photo here. I use my EK success punch here on the bottom. Cut out one of the strips from the pages. And I cut out this part as well. And this is from the sticker collection that goes to the um, paper. And here goes one of those stickers as well. This is a Kane Company sticker. And then for the, um, to add some extra interest, I put these little paper bags that you get at Target. I got them a while ago. Um, it's in this craft color, and I just used a paper and then matted the photo and stuck them on there. And I made tags for each pocket so that I can do my journaling. I think I may print out some more pictures to add to the tags as well. And then I just punched the holes on the tags. I haven't added the reinforcers or anything yet. And then... There's a photo on the other side as well. And here's the other photo. This was when my daughter was... Uh, I want to say she was two years old here. And then here's another group family photo. And I just layered strips of the paper here. Use some of these stickers. And at the end, I'll show you what stickers I used. And so I've added these little pieces so that I can add my journaling. And then, so I've done every other page, I believe, is where I put in the bags. And this one again, some more tags. And what I did was I put a pattern tag in and a solid tag in every um, pocket. So there's two tags per bag. It says grateful here. It says happy harvest, hello, thankful, family. And then I just created like this banner here um, with this sticker. It says fall up here. I thought that was cute. And then for this one, grateful sticker, little pie sticker here, fall harvest. This one I added the little stickers of the um, squirrel there holding an acorn. And 
I spelled out smile with these um, circle stickers. Happy autumn up here. And then this one I just did a little banner from the scraps. And I added a sticker here, it says give thanks. And then I just layered two of the strips of the paper collection there. And again, more tags in these pockets. And I did, um, I cut this piece out and then I just made it into a banner. Layered two more here and two more on the side. Oops, sorry. Then I did another banner here with the scraps. Hearts around the bottom and this piece as well. And this sticker I added, let's eat. These are two stickers, salt and pepper. And this is a sticker as well. All these are stickers here. I cut the um, mess in the background of the photo just so that the focal point would be the table and the dishes on the table. Um, then I did another banner here. A sticker here. Some more border strips here. And for this one, I actually have photos, so this, I'm added this one onto the tag. If you can see that. And then you flip it over, and you pull out the other tag. And there's a clock here. Thank you, chipboard. This is... This dimensional sticker and this is chipboard and what I did here was I adhered both pictures on top of each other on the page and then I just cut around the mat and I added a little scrap banner here I did another scrap banner here a sticker another sticker here and freshly baked sticker here. Let's eat sticker here. And I did the same thing on this one. And this one I just cut out the noise or the extra in the background. Stuck the photo on there. So that you could see the more focal points in the picture that I wanted. And that way I could fit them both on the page as well. And a little journaling spot up here. And then this one already had this owl this uh, and the sentiment give thanks. So I just added a strip of polka dot paper up here and I left it blank because I want to do some journaling here. And then this is the last one. You just pull these out. I do have a bag on the end. And then you flip it this way and then you pull this one out. There's no picture there, though. So, I will probably be decorating the inside here. And the inside on this side. Or I have to get another album for it. Because, I don't know if you can see, but it is kind of chunky on the one end. And then on this end, it's thin. Because it's a post-bound album. I don't know if they sell extenders so that you can extend it bigger but or how much wider can you go I don't know um I'm going to have to look into that but that is my Thanksgiving mini album six by six mini album I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video tell me what you like or you don't like this is what I came up with for this year I think that is nice to uh print out your Thanksgiving photos and make it like a whole album of Thanksgiving. That way you can pull it out for the holidays. So that is my mini album. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have some mini albums that you've created and you like me to watch your videos, please make sure to link them or send them to me and I'll take a look. Thanks for watching. Bye.